Well, this morning, California's Department of Water Resources conducted its final snow survey of the season. Yeah, today's measurement typically shows the peak of the snowpack, giving water managers some insight about the spring runoff and what to expect. But as KCR3 meteorologist Heather Waldman shows us, in some spots, there wasn't much snow to measure. What's the elevation here, 7,000? Late December, 30.5 inches. Early February, 48.5 inches. Early March, 35 inches. And today's snow survey crews with the Department of Water Resources measured just two and a half inches of snow at the field in Phillips Station, and it's all right there in that snow pile. Obviously not the trend we were hoping for with water worries already surging. We should be sitting on almost five feet of snow, uh, which is basically right where this orange tape is. That would melt down to about two feet of water in that snowpack, but today just one inch of water equivalent was measured. Scenes of a nearly bare snow course this season are bringing up comparisons to California's last major drought. What we see here today is actually very evocative of, of 2015, um, which was California's last big drought. Um, there is growing evidence that suggests that perhaps this drought is actually a continuation of that very dry period. DWR Snow Surveys Manager Shonda Guzman says that watersheds are in better condition right now compared to this time last year. But the last three months have been the driest on record for the Sierra Nevada. And the Department of Water Resources is projecting spring runoff to be just 44% of average. As of today, reservoirs are at 48% of capacity statewide. The Department of Water Resources is working with water districts throughout the state to prepare not only for this year's conditions, but in the event that we have a dry 2023. I asked Department of Water Resources Director Carla Namath how this year may compare to 2015, a year with mandatory water restrictions statewide. She said, well, restrictions are voluntary for now. If those restrictions prove to be insufficient, we may need to consider mandatory restrictions as early as later this spring. At Phillips Station, I'm KCRA3 meteorologist Heather Waldman. All right, let's check in with Mark and yeah, it's worrisome when we see how low those numbers are. Well, it is and obviously the last couple of months have not been great, but we still have snow in the Sierra. That is the way it looks from live cop to three. We're over El Dorado County looking toward the crest of the Sierra and it does look pretty nice. And if you want to talk about 2015, yes, it was very dry. The, the, the statewide at, on April 1st was just 5% of average. And this year it's around 33 to 35 percent of average. Neither number is good, but there is more snowpack and we will have a better runoff than we had back in 2015.